Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode number 380, How to Detox on Your Vacation. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about positive aging. Your hosts are Dr. Kathy Moffin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging, and Brett Newcomb, a licensed professional counselor. Dr. Moffin and Brett are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about hormone replacement therapy for women, which is available on Amazon or from Dr. Moffin's office at BioBalance Health. Dr. Moffin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. This week we are in beautiful Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and we're going to be talking about how to detox on vacation. Uh, detox may not be a topic that jumps to the top of your mind, but when we were doing research for this, what we found out is that there are 7.6 billion people in the world as of February 2018. All those people out there are producing garbage and trash and toxins through their industrialized societies, through their agriculture, uh, through all the different things that people have to do to survive. And those toxins are in our environment, they're in our air, they're in our water, uh, they're in our food, and we ingest them into our body. And part of the way our bodies are made is that we have to have a way to detoxify the tissue in our body. It actually operates kind of like a filter. And so every so often the filter has to be cleaned. And what we're going to talk to you about this week in our podcast is various ways that you can work to maximize the effective cleansing of your body by detoxifying. Probably the most obvious thing that comes to mind is your liver and your kidneys. Alcohol, for instance. People go on vacation, they often use that as an opportunity to maybe consume more or different kinds of alcohol than they do in their home and have a regular routine. And, And alcohol is important, not as much just because of the sugar that's in alcohol, but because your body treats alcohol not as a sugar, but as a poison. And it puts alcohol ingestion at the head of the list of things that need to be taken out of your body, to be detoxed from your body. And your liver and your kidneys are supposed to do that. But everything else that's in your system that's supposed to be coming out doesn't come out until after the alcohol is out. If you keep putting more alcohol in it, then your body gets more and more toxic. So let's go through and talk about different ways that that people can detox uh, when they're on vacation. Well, I want to talk about what most doctors say is that your liver and kidneys are doing this. Don't worry about it. Well, that's true in many cases. But because we have um, chemicals that our bodies weren't meant to to tolerate, it stores it in our fat. So all of those plastics that are broken down and the hormones that are broken down not good hormones, but bad hormones, are then stored in our fat, and it's also stored in the fat of meat and chicken, which is why we asked you to take the fat off meat and chicken before you eat it. Oh, yeah. Because we don't want to eat their toxins and multiply it. <laughs> multiply so your own. Yeah. Multiply it into our own. Now, it's not stored in the, in the meat of animals or in our muscles, but it's stored in just our fat. So it's not the lean meat. It's, it's right. the amount of animal fat that you consume. Right. That's it's the, it's the fat that's on your steak. Yeah. So cut the, cut the fat off and then eat the steak. But I'm not saying that you shouldn't eat meat. I think it's very important for people on testosterone to eat meat. I'm just saying we have our own toxins. We have to get rid of them. And one of the ways we get rid of them is by cleansing ourselves and also losing fat. And we are all storing all this all these toxins, we have to lose fat to lose the toxins. What that does is mobilize toxins. Right. And out of the fat. Squish out them the out fat. of the fat and into the bloodstream. Right. And then and the we have to get rid of them. Yes. And then they have to go through our intestines, primarily, or through our kidneys, to then be removed from our system. So that's what we're talking about today is that when you're on vacation, you can exercise, depending on the vacation, you can exercise you can use that as a time to right. detox and lose fat and eat healthy. If you're in, we're in Mexico, they have all the fresh fruit available that we may not have at home in the uh, Midwest or the northern states. We just don't get those fresh fruit and vegetables. Not in the wintertime. No, and that, so we're adding good food. We're eating a lot of fish. We're eating a lot of uh, very clean shellfish that comes out of the ocean every day. We even went fishing and caught fish and ate the fish we caught. So 
thankfully we were successful at that. So those are things, fish is very helpful, it gives us all the omega, um, omega oils, and then we, are, we then can use those to replace the fat that we've, that we've collected. So part of the challenge then is how you take the fat that's in your body and mobilize it so that you break it loose from where it's stored, where you have fatty deposits in different par parts of your anatomy. You can break that loose and, and get them into your bloodstream, and then you have to get them out. And there are ways to do that. Uh, one of the bigger ways that you can detoxify your fat tissue is sweating. If you're a person who sweats, that's to your advantage when it comes to the issue of toxicity. Exercise that makes you sweat is a, a global enhancer it's of this effect. So the more you can get yourself to exercise and sweat, depending on your age, depending on your physical condition, depending on your tolerance for that sort of thing, it's a positive, good thing to do. And what a lot of people on vacation do is they put themselves in an environment where they're not on a regular routine, and there are opportunities in that environment to do things, uh, various kinds of effort, exercise, like go for a walk or go skiing or ride a, a horse or a bike or play golf or uh, or take a hike or ride, ride ATVs or yeah all kinds or, of things yeah all the kind of things that we do we try to do one one physical activity every other day and then that breaks out of sweat I mean right, at least twenty that minutes breaks the sweat at least yeah. twenty minutes or more and we rode ATVs for two hours and it was hard riding we were on the beach so uh, that was actual physical yeah. exercise and we kayaked from Cab from the bay in Cabo San Lucas to the to the arch and back to where the Sea of Cortez and the Pacific meet. So that was two hours yeah. of upper body exercise and some lower body. And that made us all sweat. Now, here's the, here's the catch. If you don't sweat, there's something wrong with your metabolism. Right. Either you don't exercise at all and your sweat glands have just given up. I mean, that's not a, not a medical way to say it. <laughs> or your thyroid's low. Low thyroid can cause you not to sweat. So people who go, oh, I don't sweat when I exercise. I, you know, that should be an alarm, not a that pride. That should be a bad thing, yeah. not something that you're proud of. So if yeah. you sweat a lot when you exercise, good for you. You're getting rid of toxins every time you do that. An another way to maximize the benefit from sweating is if you have an opportunity, if there's a, a place available at your home or at a gymnasium or on vacation, is take a sauna. If you take a sauna, and in particular, saunas come in, in two types. If you have access to the infrared type of sauna. That's a red light. It's, it's better for two reasons. One is it... it takes a whole lot less energy consumption, so it's less of a drain on the environment. The other is that you can stand the heat from an infrared sauna for longer than you can stand the heat uh, from a classic sauna. So if you can do that, it will make you sweat a lot. Sandy in my office has an infrared sauna at home uh -huh. to boost her immune system, but at the same time she's boosting her immune system, which it does do, she is also ridding her body of toxins. Right. So and she gets in there very often, um, at least every other night, and she gets rid of her toxins and then drinks a lot of water to flush them out. You have to flush out what you mobilize. You don't want them just the toxins just going through your body and, and going to uh, another place in fat. <laughs> you know, we just, oh, what is that? It's a plane. It's a ultralight flying over our heads. <laughs> anyway. But... So, talking about your office and things that happen at your office, mm -hmm. one of the ways that your office is structured to be able to provide this as a benefit, it's not a vacation issue, but you have an iLipo machine, right? which is a device that you can target specific fatty deposit areas in your body with the iLipo machine, and you get that fat loosened and mobilized into the bloodstream. And then you go and you work out at the office. You have mm -hmm. an elliptical machine mm -hmm. and a treadmill. Mm -hmm. where people work out for like 30 minutes, 40 more minutes? Than, more than 30 minutes. You can work out as long as you want, but more than 30 minutes after you use the iLipo machine. It needs to be at least that long to get so the benefit. So it moves it. You've already, you've already gotten the fat to explode the fat cells, and it gets into your bloodstream. Then when you're working out, it works with your it lymph system. Squeezes all those toys and, uh, toxins out and so that you to, urinate or poop them out. You poop them out. Yeah. So you mobilize them to your intestines, and then you poop them out. So a lot of people drink water to make it, water. this process mm -hmm. and actually you should do that drink a lot of water to flush it out before and after you have the treatment it's only 20 minutes it's not a, a long treatment yeah. but it it gives you the sculpting we all do that uh, Phyllis does that I do it before we go on vacation so we can wherever the fat is that we don't like 
we try to sculpt it out, and it works. So that also gets rid of some toxins before we leave. And there's another machine that helps with this. You don't mm -hmm. have it at your mm -hmm. office, but there are some around. If you ever have an opportunity to encounter one of them, there's a cryo machine. And they, they look almost like the old-timey steam machines before mm -hmm. they made steam rooms your or saunas. Your head sticks out. <laughs> so your head sticks out. You're in this metal machine, and they turn the temperature up or down. In a cryo machine, they, turn the, they super cool your body, mm -hmm. which breaks that fat tissue loose and mobilizes it. So when you get out of the cold of the cryo machine, then you do the exercise, you drink the water, and mm -hmm. you cleanse the toxicity from your body. It's a very healthy thing to mm -hmm. do. Although, for me, I mean, it sounds miserable. I don't it like sounds it awful, too. Yeah. I don't either. But, of course, that's why we're vacationing in Cabo, because we like it warm. And then you have a couple of uh, weight loss medicines that you use as a complement to this mm -hmm. process. For, so we use the iLipo machine as part of a weight loss program. So if you, you have to buy a series of iLipo treatments. It takes about eight treatments to get you to where you want to go in terms of an area losing, uh, losing inches. So... We have you see our nurse practitioner. It's a free visit with our nurse practitioner for weight loss. You get medicine if you need it or help with your diet if you need that as well. Then you go for the iLipo treatments, drink water ahead of time, do what we said about exercising after, and then we suggest or we will be suggesting uh, using uh, activated charcoal to help get the toxins that are mobilized out of your system and also using some other supplements that we have at the, uh, at the office, and that is um, we use glutathione, that's one, and then we also use uh, vitamin C, vitamin C two to three calcium grams. D glucurate. Calcium D, and then water with electrolytes. Water with electrolytes in it. So we, you can take tablets that have electrolytes, and, and, or you can use G2. So whatever method you use to mobilize the fat, whether it's exercise, sweat, a sweat machine, a cold machine, uh, once you've done that, and then you've done the exercise afterwards, like, like the elliptical or the walking, or just working out however you choose to do that, then a half hour later, what we recommend is that you take the uh, activated charcoal, and then you wait maybe an hour, mm -hmm. and then you take the glutathione, the vitamin C, uh, the and calcium the D calcium D, and, the wa and water with electrolytes. That helps flush your system. It helps take the toxins out of your system you will be healthier and you will feel better. So, and it's so, something you can do at home, but it's also something you something can do on I vacation. would like you to think about adding into your vacation because for me, I mean, if you go do ATVs for two hours and then you do the detox program with the supplements and the water, you can actually get a two for, I like doing two things well, at once with one define, amount of effort. Some people define vacation in their head as, I'm going to go somewhere and relax and overconsume. But overindulge. I, mean, I have I have a whole cluster of cousins that go on cruises all the time, just so they can eat from night to day and day to night. And they talk all they talk about on the cruise isn't where they went or what they did or what they saw. It's what they ate, and that's well, not healthy for them. No, moderation in everything. Basically, yeah. I, if if you go on a cruise, it shouldn't really be just about the food, and it should be about. I'm going to go have fun. I'm just going to see places that I've never seen before. I'm going to do things I have I don't do at home, and I'm enjoying that. But also, I'm working my body because we don't get to do that in our daily lives. Even if you go on a city vacation, yes, you can walk, and we, you have to walk. Usually, yeah. when I go to Europe with uh, John, we we walk everywhere because Europeans do. There are no, you know, there's not many fat Europeans, <laughs> and they, they they didn't used to be. They're becoming more Americanized, yeah. so we see more of them now. So, uh, but basically, you walk everywhere, so that's your beginning of your detox, and then you t drink a lot of water and not wine right afterwards. Uh, you can drink a lot of wine later. But so at the end of the day, it's important to be aware of, of the need to detoxify and the strategies for detoxifying the fat tissue in your body. You can do it at home, and you can do it on vacation, and you should do both. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth. Find Brett Newcomb at brettnewcomb.com.